All right, guys. How y'all doing here? Let me, let me cut that out. How y'all doing here? Bent Rod Expeditions. Uh, I know y'all see a lot of my posts on Facebook and stuff, but tonight it's going to be a little different. Usually I just show y'all the action. Tonight I'm going to show y'all how to do it. I hope y'all love me for this because I'm telling you, my biggest worry in doing this is having a bunch of folks take all these fish home. These fish are hard to catch as it is. We may not even catch anything tonight. All right. And this is how I do them. I cut the tail all the way off and cut them about, about dead in half here. I don't know if y'all can see that real good, but that's a pretty decent thread fin there. And um, what I do is I just cut them in half. This will be a chunk of bait. And I usually hook them up here at the tail. This will dangle. That'll be a chunk. And that'll be enough for two poles, but I got five. So when I don't have bigger ones, and I, I got to deal with these smaller guys, and I have issues getting bait. I got here after dark, so I wasn't able to go to my bait hole. What I'll do is I'll get these, and what I'll do is I'll cut it, cut its tail off, and I'll cut it about halfway up from its tail. It seems to make a difference for me. I can throw them out, and I feel like they don't ever get bites. And one night I reeled them in, and I said, you know, that's old bait's old. That's all I've got. I said, how about we cut it and see if we can get some more sin out of it. I swear it's like to cut the bite on when I did that. So ever since then, that's what I do. Different strokes for different folks, all right? I'm gonna do every one of them like so. Just split it up just a little ways. Sometimes I don't even go all the way up the middle. Sometimes I just do little splits. And since bait is scarce, if I don't sling them off, and if I don't get a bite in a while, and if I still feel like fishing, I'll just split them up a little more. You know, an hour down the road after I swap spots or something. Cut it off All right, that's enough bait for my five poles. The bait is all thread fin shad. All right, step one, getting the bait ready. Alrighty, folks. Wasting the battery on that right now. Got my bait cut up, so I'll put my glove up here. I turned 50. I got tired of getting my bit and having my fingers all sore and hands all sore around the mechanic. Alright. This is how I put the bait on the Look here, I'm going through every process of y'all. Over here on this side, where I've got this pole, I'm going to put this big head piece. So you can see this to put it up here, and you can hook it through like that. But I don't. I just hook it straight through the mouth, in between the eyes, and out of the skull, because that skull is really tough. And it's hard to get your bait going when you hook them like so. I try not to squeeze my bait too tight. That way I don't squeeze all the blood out of it. Just every little thing. Every little thing I feel like help. I'm gonna send this one out. Alright, this one I'm
right, and for these, what I do here, let me cut my light out. Can you see good on the camera? Turn your red light on. All right, see, for what I do with these, I just hook these in between the eyes and out the skull like so, and just put the whole thing on there. And I'll tell you what, using the whole thing compared to using, cutting him up and put, putting two chunks on, on there of him or something like that, it makes a difference. So folks, don't be scared to use the whole thing. Yeah, these guys pulling up here. Hey, man! Yeah. You boys is on the YouTube. How about this flow we got right here? How about this current? Oh yeah, I love it. I... Hell yeah, I'm about to I'm about to land me a fifty pounder up here tonight. Uh, yeah, are they alive? Huh? No, the current's moving, man. Heck yeah, holler at me, man. I appreciate it. I, that's about the time y'all did good on that flathead and stuff at one time, too, wasn't it? Heck yeah. Be careful, bulls. I hope so. We're going to try. Yes, sir. I'm going to try out a shiner. I ain't never... Yeah, right. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? What? Get, use that shiner when you got live bluegill. You put live bluegill on the last two. Yeah, okay. That'll sit there or I'll lose my light in the river on. My bluegill going out on my my small hooks that I like. I caught my big fish in my small hooks. I guess that's what you're supposed to get. You don't ever use big hooks. Huh? David's been doing good.
know, I got dropped at least five times a piece. I mean, hey. There's a live bluegill going out. Thanks to David. Hey, he's doing pretty good. He's doing better than I have lately. He's caught a big old flathead this week and caught two big blues. It's probably over 30 today. I guess that's the difference in a sixty-dollar reel. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh just hit the line and put it back in the rod hole. Oh, what's your name? Down, quick kicking. Yeah. It's your fish. Set that phone down. You grab him. I just want to get him up there. That's pretty good in there. Oh, yeah. I might have to help you grab him. Oh, he's digging. Kinsley. Kinsley. Kinsley, wake up. Look. Bring him over here. 
We got a big fish on. As soon as I get over here. Stand up here. Hold it up here. Hold it up here. Hold it up here. Nope, you get the turn. Now, baby, easy on him. Oh, he's a big one, Dad. Yeah, take your time with him. Woohoo! Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Woo. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's so big. It's a flippy flopper. <laughs> I remember that from the kid. Here you go, Dad. The boat's turning the water. Oh, there's a big bite. <laughs> Reel it. Tired of it. Oh, yeah. Down on it. Dad, you're taking my line. Just stand right there, baby, okay? okay. We got a lot going on. Ooh. Is it a bass? Hang on. Bass don't, don't break him off. Just, just let him hold. Keep him hooked. Better no matter how long it takes, keep fish. him hooked. I can tell he's heavy, Dad. Wait. Oh my gosh, Dad, how much are there? He's already in this one. Right? No. I think he's hooked up on this boat. Oh, <laughs> bro, do not. Don't break it, bro. Don't break it. Whatever you do, don't break it. You have to, Dad. We got a monster in here. Don't break it. Here. <laughs> Yeah, you do. We all got monsters all at once. <laughs> oh! He's big! Bro. <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> You're hooked up, so what's going on here? Oh, oh, here he goes. 